Oh, yes, sir. Can you check on an Arma part number for me? See if you have it. Uh, sure. Real quick. Uh, 320573. Is that an EXB part? Yes, sir. It's a front bumper, so it should be pretty big. That one I don't have. You don't have it? Dang it. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, wait. Wait. 325 73, Super Basher front bumper? Yes. Yep, I have one. Perfect. Um, I will be there in a little bit. Um, can you hold it for me? My name is Mark. Uh, Thank you, sir. How's it going? Hello. Right, you got your up. Yes, sir. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Sanrio. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog, guys. Today, we are going to fix the Creighton EXB. I'm going to show you guys what I broke. You already saw it, the front bumper. I actually went and picked it up, so we're going to put it together. And then I'm going to take both the Sledge and the Creighton EXB out. I'm going to let the boys drive the, both cars, and we're just going to see which one they like better. Obviously, completely, like, they, they don't know anything about it. They're just going to go drive them, and we'll just see which one they like better. I don't want to do, like, the formal comparison because I feel like there is no winning the argument. Social media has been blown up with people arguing against the sledge, with the sledge, which one's better, the Creighton, Arma, or Traxxas. Like, at this point, like I said, we just need to be happy that we have choices, and both of them are pretty awesome. But today, we're going to drive them both, just have a good time. We're just going to see which one they like better. That's it. Simple as that. All right, here's the part that I broke. This is essentially the A block. It's the hinge pin brace. Uh, see, this one's like kind of a little crunched up in front. I, what happened is I nosed though really, really bad, and it just kind of stripped it all the way out, but it broke the ears off here. Yeah, so this is the new one, um, but that's what I broke on the Creighton EXB. All right, guys, here they are side by side. I'm going to do something, even though I don't completely agree with it, I am going to change the punch on the ESC. That way we'll do wheelies too. I know everyone was all bent out of shape about that. The reason why I didn't change the punch on it whenever I tested it the first time because I was trying to test it as if you just bought the car. Like, I haven't done anything to the sledge. Like, nothing at all. So, the fair thing would be to not change the ESC settings. However, we're going to change it anyways because people got all bent out of shape whenever I didn't up the punch. Started dogging me out about how I don't know how to do it and things like that. I got the program box right here. We're going to up the punch and it will do wheelies. But here they are side by side. Yes, they look freaking awesome the Creighton EXB. Okay, so the way the EXB sits right now, this one actually sits a little north of uh, $800. It's like, I think it's $550. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go check all the prices real quick so I don't mess anything up. All right, so it's $470 for the car plus $200 for the motor and ESC. So that's $670 plus another $100 for the servo. So that's $770 plus your remote and receiver which probably about 200 bucks if you just kind of want to throw that out there um so it's a little north of a thousand dollars uh for this entire setup this 799 that's what the msrp is on this so yeah both of them look really good both of them are a lot of fun i enjoy both of them i've already driven both of them i'm not gonna drive them today i'm just gonna let the boys drive them we're just gonna ask them what they think and which one they rather drive so let me get to programming this thing and uh turn in the punch up so I do feel the fair comparison would be the Sledge versus the Talion, or the Talion. One of those is how you pronounce it. But the Talion looks just like this. I think it has all the stuff that the EXB does. However, it's a high-speed truggy, so it doesn't have like off-road tires or anything like that. I don't have one, so we can't compare it, but this, they're basically outfitted. The EXB chassis, the Sledge are outfitted the exact same, so this is going to be the fairest battle. We should probably take price out of the question or out of this battle because you can get a cheaper version of this for 749 all right guys here we go what's a fair punch default is four let's see how high we go not i think we should go seven i think seven is a fair punch level there we go punch level seven all right guys here are my drivers i'm not gonna lie if these cars even just make it out of this whole situation i'll be surprised but contrary to belief, 
Evan doesn't really know much about RC other than RC racing. He doesn't ever do any of the bashing. Evan, do you even like RC? No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then Ethan, he doesn't, he doesn't, he does, what is that game that you play? Rocket League, that's all he does. He doesn't actually drive RC other than racing. So we'll see what happens. Ethan, which one do you want to drive first? Uh, I'm not going to let him choose. Evan, which one do you want to drive first? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, you're recording? Evan, which one do you want to drive first? None. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is the most unbiased as unbiased can be. What? I'll take the kit in because he doesn't want it. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm actually pretty nervous. All right, go ahead, go ahead, boys. I'm actually pretty nervous because I got a feeling. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Seriously, you landed. <laughs> you landed it. Jeez, Evan. Oh, there you go. The cranes wheeling like crazy now. We up the punch to seven. So Evan was a little blown away whenever he took the body on, or when we put the body on. He was like, "Wait, it's already on?" Because I just kind of slid on, slid the body on the sledge. But nonetheless, Ethan knows how to do body clips just fine. So that wasn't really a, a crazy issue. But we're gonna we're gonna hit this jump. I I like I said, I will be. Completely surprised if these things survive. Oh, is that the sledge? What was that one? My turn. All right, watch out, Evan. Don't get hit by your brother. Yeah. Go. Ethan, you keep standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> um, oh, you landed <laughs> You doing donuts over there, boy? Yeah. Hey, don't hit us. That, that was the only rule I told them. I said they can do whatever they want with them. As long as they don't hit us because we're, we're breaking feet if that happens. All right, I'm right here. Go ahead. Oh, nice. The front flip. Dang. Landed the back flip. Nice, Ethan. Jeez. Right. <laughs> Evan goes, geez, this kind of goes fast. All right. Race them real quick. Race them across the field. We got so we got an audience. All right, go ahead and race them across the field. Wait, wait, wait for Evan. You On your mark, get set, go. The Creighton's the one in the front. Oh, golly! I mean, look, there. Keep going, keep going. Go back, go back. Oh, that's pretty close on speed, guys. Speed is a hard thing to judge because oh. Speed is a hard thing to judge because we can always up the pinion on these things, so you can make them go. Whoa! That was the other rule I had. No bashing into each other. And they just hit each other. Jeez. Wait, wait, Ethan, where are you going? No, 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 don't go that way. You won't be able to see it. Ethan almost just went over the freaking hill. It won't turn? Uh-oh. Guys, we got a broken servo. Blown servo. Uh, yeah, so we can't finish this test. This is not, this is not reflection of the car because this is a servo I put in here. Uh, this is actually an old short course servo that I had from a long time ago. So it is pretty clapped out and yeah, it's blown. It was whenever they ran into each other because he broadsided them. But the servo's done on that. We got to replace servo. So Evan's still ripping though. Except what did, what happened? Did you step in ants? Oh, he didn't put his Crocs in four wheel drive. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, we can't finish this test. Sorry. It was fun though. Fun while it lasted. Oh my god, that was an awful landing. Is it broken? No, that's fine. That's the steering. No, it's not broken. Yeah, he's used to high speed steering like in his race vehicles. There you go. Nice. Alright, what do you think? The is better than the Spartan. You didn't even drive the Creighton, so you can't even say it. that. Oh, I called it a Spartan. And you called it a Spartan, so you're automatically disqualified from that from that one. Did Ethan just backflip? Yeah. I'll do a doubler if I'm allowed to. I'll put a front whip if you need me to. You cannot land a front flip. What was that? Oh my god, Ethan. Alright, you're done. Alright, don't hit those people over there. <laughs> There's people right there. Make sure you get close, kind of close to us. Not super close to us. Go ahead. Go, go, go. What the? Did you just take like a pound of grass out of the ground? Oh, you're going to blow a tire. You blew it. We blew another tire. This is the old tire. Um, so the, the, the thing is, 
whenever you flip upside down, don't try to rescue it or save it because what happens is when the diffs start diffing out, one of the sides ends up spinning exponentially and that's what happened. It spun so much, it literally exploded off. So, oh, so look, I, I wasn't wrong. It literally, they, they both cars did not last my son's rats. Oh. All right, Evan made a good point. We just blow this tire off. Oh my God. Jeez. So for the record guys, this is the original tire I had on it. Whenever I replaced the last blown tire, I replaced two I, and I put the two brand new ones on the back. So I'm telling you guys, I wore these tires out pretty good. I wore them pretty thin. It definitely exploded off. So this one, this is one of the tires that probably has a good 15, 20 runs on it. All right, boys. All right, first and foremost, which one do you think looks better? The, what's it called? Sledge. You have to, you have to look <laughs> at the, the name I, of it. I forgot what car we were driving. I thought we were driving the Slash right now. So you think the crate looks better? I just like black in general. Man, the green though. I like the green. So basically, basically it's color. Okay, which ones? Oh, so just so you know, Evan has driven the Creighton before. Um, this isn't the first time he's ever driven the Creighton. Um, they both driven them both. So, which one's easier to drive? The Sledge, I think. No, I think it's the Creighton. No, the Creighton. Mm -mm. Wait, is it the Sledge? Because I feel like the Creighton doesn't. The Creighton is a center diff though. Oh. That's why. They both have center diffs. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh. Creighton. That it's, backfired. Yeah. Sludge has, I was going to try to make some good excuse. Sludge has a little bit more power, so it's harder to do, like, regular driving. The main question. Which one, would you, which one would you rather drive? Uh, none. I'm just kidding. Come on, you have to pick one. The Sledge. What? Yes, yeah, Sledge. It says... Alright, so seriously, your, your answer is the, the Sledge. sledge. Yeah. And why? Why? Yeah. Look at the camera. Why do you keep looking at the sledge? Not I'm trying back. to find some good reasons why I like the <laughs> car. <laughs> Evan just wants to go inside. He's not even sure. I don't have any good reasons right now. <laughs> Ethan, why do you like the sledge? Uh, come on, Ethan. So they got he's got he's got no answer. So basically they're both equally as fun. Evan. I win. I win sledge. The sledge wins, because he doesn't have an answer. Nah, I, I have an answer. Sludge is just... I say sludge, actually. See? Why? Uh, he forgot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> Golly. Oh my god, guys. That might have been the worst, but most real comparison you guys are going to get of the sludge and Creighton. So basically, what I got are two broken cars I need to fix now. Which one of them I just got to replace a tire, but that servo... Anyways, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see us next time. Later, guys.